Hey, welcome to the Best of AI YouTube channel. In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can swap your face with AI generated art. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head into Discord and we're gonna open up Mid Journey. If you don't have a Mid Journey account, you're gonna need one. It's $10 a month, I believe, but I believe you can do this with a free account as well. So you can test it out on a free plan. All right, so let's go into our Discord. Let's open this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a new app. So I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. And what you're gonna do is you're going to create a new server by clicking on add server. I'm gonna click on create my own. And I'm just gonna say it's for me. And I'm just gonna say this is um, YouTube demo server. And then I'm gonna click on create. Now we have our new server here. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna click that link in the description and that's gonna bring you to this tool called Insight Face, okay? And what you'll be able to do with this, like I said, is swap the AI generated face with your face. So once you click on that link, it's gonna ask you what server do you want to add um, this bot to. If you don't see it, just click on refresh um, and then it should show up. So here we go, YouTube demo. I'm gonna click on continue. I'm gonna click on authorized. And it's just gonna say, are, are you a human? I am. And then you're done. After you're done, you're gonna go back into Discord. And now we have our new server here with that bot added. And what we're going to do is go to the mid journey server. So in my case, I have a private one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this for you though. You would just go to mid journey in your uh, discord. And then you just do the same process that I'm going to do, but you just click on this, go to profile and you click on add to server. And then you want to select the server that you want to add this mid journey bot to. So I'm going to click on the YouTube demo server that I just set up. And this is actually a good note that if you don't have a private server for your mid journey images, I highly recommend that you do that. So you would do the same process. So you would create a server. And then when you go into mid journey here on the, on the right hand side, just do the same thing, go to profile, add to server, and then you would add it to that private server. But in our case, I already have this added. So I'm just gonna go back to here. And now we have Insight, Face Swap, and Mid Journey in this private server. So what we can do at this point is we can actually start generating some images and I can show you the process of swapping out your face with the images that are generated. But before we do that, what you need to do is you need to hit the slash button and we actually need to save ID. So you see here, save ID. And what you're going to do is give it a name so you can say whatever your name is. I'm just going to say me. And then you're going to drop an image of yourself and make sure that it's high quality and also that you're not wearing glasses and you don't have bangs. For some reason, this just messes up the, the process of swapping the face. So as long as you have a pretty high quality image, all I did was I took my iPhone and just took a picture of myself, a front facing picture of myself, and then just uploaded that. And it seemed to work pretty well. So you don't really need like, you know, a professional photo. But once you do that, once you save it, it will save that image to that ID. And every time you create an image, it's going to um, swap it out. So I already did this process, but I want to show you once you save it, this process will be the same. So you see here, this is another private server I was just testing it out with. And you'll see here that I generated some images. Let me just scroll up here. So this is the image that I asked Midjourney to create. So we can just rerun this and you can kind of um, see the process. So what I would do is click slash, imagine just like we would do normally. And I would click uh, command V and I'm just gonna paste that in there. And it's just gonna create the images for us. And once that's done, um, you'll be able to see the process of swapping out the face. It's very simple, but I just wanted to show you how it would work. So this is um, running and I'll be right back. All right, sweet. So now this process is done and I already have my image uh, for the face that I want to swap with this one. So what we would do at this point is we would choose the image we want to actually use. Uh, I like this one and I also like this one. So I might do this one. So I'm gonna uh, select U4, which stands for upscale number four, which is the fourth one in this grid and it's going to basically just make a high res image of, of that one. And after that, what you want to do is click on these three dots, which is the more option, and then go to apps, and then you'll see in swapper. So you want to click on that. And now that it's going to activate the face swap on this image. And there you go. So that's me, AI me, um, just from that one image that I gave it. And it basically swapped out this AI generated image with my face. And you can run this for as many prompts as you want and just kind of play around with it, create the images, you know, kind of that similar to your likeness. And 
you get a pretty good result. So that's how you're able to quickly swap out the faces of AI generated images with your face. If you want to see more tutorials, more videos like this one, make sure that you subscribe and also head to bestofai.com where you can browse over 7,000 AI tools and just like this one. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.